Hey, what's up guys? Ashlock here now today. I'm gonna be playing Bondi's Barnyard. It is a fan-made Five Nights at Freddy's game. And all I've seen is that you play as the animatronics. Now, I didn't want to get spoiled. I was like, you know what, that sounds cool. So I went ahead and I downloaded it. I really hope it's not malware. I'm opening it right now. Also, by the way, my recording is going to be really janky, so, uh, I apologize. All right, let's do it, guys. You're here with me if I, uh, <gasps> you see that? This game contains harsh flashing lights, loud noises, dark themes, and lots of jump scares. Let's do this. Let's go, guys. All right, here it is, Bondi's Bard Yard. Safety violation, new game, hour select, extras, settings. Let's just hop straight into it. The employment of a security guard is really an arbitrary decision to fulfill a legal requirement. Bondi, Grise, Forty, they're all equipped with a security system capable of tracking down any intruder. They can even hear a person breathing within a 50 meter radius. What about the cow? Cool, the cow is different in that she is designed to care for a child who has lost their parents. Uh, she will keep them closer until the parents return. Excuse me, but this all seems a bit excessive for a children's establishment. Well, even though the animatronic security system is very hands-on, they wouldn't be able to kill an adult. What about a child? <laughs> Yo, bro, yo, 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 yo. Alright, what a, like, goofy, like, yeah, so the animatronic security system, no worry, wouldn't be able to kill an adult. <laughs> like, well, that shouldn't even be in the question, dog. Child's gone missing at Bonnie's barnyard on their own birthday. That's the worst part. Child's mother filed a missing persons report to the local authorities. Restaurant claims the wrongdoings, no wrongdoing, but have doubled their safety precautions and has employed a full time security guard. Wait, no, that's not me, because I'm going to be actually the cow. Okay. Oopsies. 1 a.m. Fresh meat. It's the pig. Here we are. Bondi's Barnyard Safety Violation Type 1. Uh. You are somewhere you're not meant to be. I guess you'll have to settle for the company of me. If the camera sees free saw, say she's. Don't let them put you on your knees. What the heck? We put the nice in ice cream? Yo, dude. Wait. It's like my happiness? It's how long I can go without... Breathing? All right, so what I do know about this is apparently there's a kid trapped in this animatronic. Maybe that's the kid that went missing. It's pretty tragic stuff. Okay. Koi the cow is the cat. Sorry, that says cow. Cow the cow is the only animatronic allowed inside of the ice cream bar. If anything else tries to enter, close the doors. This is actually scary. I go to 70. You got this, you got this. Breathing is actually kind of scary, like it's... I like the mechanics though. This is actually really, I really like the mechanics. Like the way, um, like the happiness. It's like the battery, except you can actually regain it, which I love. Like, I was always my quarrel. Don't let, it said don't left click at all if the camera's on. Oh god. I'm terrified, dude. Pigman, pigman. I'm so glad this wasn't malware. <laughs> it was also really small. It was like 200, 300 megabytes. I think I'm doing good. It doesn't tell me a time. So when can I make it? When when can I make it out and like escape the anim? Why do I have to hide in an animatronic? I think that was like the pig. Like I heard like a. 
So I thought it was that the like the security guard was coming to look for me, or, like trying to like, kill me or something. But I guess it's a, a different animatronic, and like, yeah, Mama Cow will protect you. So I guess Mama Cow's the only good animatronic. Oh, wait, there is the time. God. Oh, God. So, so, so we're hiding from the cow. I mean, the, the pig. Okay, first, why? Why is it, why am I a child in the suit? And where is the security guard? Those are my three questions. For now, I'm going to try to survive. Not good. 153. Does time not go when we... No, never mind, okay. It's probably not good, honestly. Probably, like, comes over here if I, uh, if I do that. I swear I'm gonna get to, like, 556, and then it's gonna stop. Oh, God. Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Dude. Happy birthday, my child. For your gift, I'll let you go to Bondi's Barnyard. Yay. I think I actually want to leave Bondi's Barnyard. Uh, ooh, Bondi's. Let's hey, you scared. look sharp as a sausage! Oh, because he's like a pig, but he has to like say goofy stuff. I'm building a house. What material should I use for it? Oh, oh my god. He got blown down. It got blown down. It was these two, but I think the, the one with the... It's like the old story with like the wolf, like... Blew down the... The one that wasn't brick. Bricks, of course. Thank you. You're welcome, dude. Can I go in? What a strange, what a strange thing. So now the pig is gone, and now we have to hide from the sheep. Bondi's barnyard safety violation. First, why? When the clock strikes two, one threat becomes a crew. Just make sure you check the right door. Otherwise, you might not be prepared for what's in store. <laughs> Alright. Why are we trapped in here? Why are the other animatro animatronics evil? And where is the security guard? Those are my three things I really want to know. Hopefully we'll figure them out. Uh, that little cutscene at the end of uh, the hour, it didn't help me at all. Uh, we were like a chicken, and we helped Pig Guy build his uh, house by telling him what to to build it with which is brick god okay I think that bang means that he would have got me if I hadn't just closed that door We'll wait till it gets to 50 and then we'll open it. I love the mechanics of this game. This is so well made. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! That was scarier than any FNAF jump scare I've- Oh my god, dude. Let's see what my heart rate is. 102. My heart rate literally- It spiked. That was crazy, dude. Alright. Now I've put a pencil sharpener behind my phone so I don't think it can fall anymore. But hopefully you got a good reaction out of that. Uh, I, might be, I might be making too much of an embarrassing face and I'll have to cut it out, but- Hopefully not.
Gosh, dude. I love that, bro. I love that. That was actually so scary, dude. And the mechanics were good. Storyline, I like the mystery. It's such a well-made fan game. Like, it feels like... Like, while well, taking so much inspiration from Five Nights at Freddy's while still being different is just so good. Great work to the creator of this. So, oh, I can select my hours now because I've unlocked. That's pretty cool. Let's do back. Shout out to Barnes Incorporated and Pudis Games, honestly. Um, you can, I'll put the link in the description. You can just download this. I'm pretty sure it's safe. Uh, I'm not promising anything, but I I did it and it was safe. So, shine turn particles off. They kind of scared. I don't know. They kind of add to the vibes. Two a.m. We got this. Now we know that there's the pig and the sheep, not just the sheep. Now, uh, so I'm assuming with each night it gets harder. There's a new animatronic added for each night. It's not just one. Right. All right. I can mute the tape because I don't really need to hear that. All right. Bar. Barnyard bar. Mama cow will protect you. This is a weird picture. I'm not even gonna lie. Bro, I kinda want I kinda want this, this little plushie, man. Alright. We good, we good. We good, man. <laughs> not gonna get killed by a cow this time. Shut about to say shout out to the creator of this game. Thank you. Such a well made game. This is version 2.0, so I I don't know what version 1.0 is like, but um, it's probably just some like bug fixes and stuff, and like probably an updated graphics. So we're gonna pretend that there's not an evil bad guy right outside. Pretty sure the breathing probably does attract them faster. I wouldn't be surprised if we heard a sheep soon. <sighs> Please just let me make it to 3 a.m., dude. And, th and then I can make a part two where I finish this game. Uh, I did see this video from a YouTube video. I'm gonna leave it in the description. I'm gonna remember to leave the link to download this game and where I saw it originally from in the description. Ah, there we go. That's good. Uh, yeah, shout out to them. Uh, I'm taking inspiration for the title. I think I think it's called the F Five Nights at Freddy's Fan Game, where you're the animatronic. I'm gonna might put a spin on that a little bit. But that's a pretty good title. I don't really know how to put that any other way. Oh God! I, why did I do that? Oh, that's where the guard is. That's blood, dude. That's the blood of the... That's my blood. Coming out of the suit. Dude, that's tragic, bro. There's like actual evil animatronics, and then you kill the one that's like actually a person. That's crazy. You want to go again? Let's be, let's be the third out, bro. Let's be 2 a.m., bro. Please, bro, please. I, I had it, too. I was so close. I don't know what I was just doing. It literally, like, I know the, I know the rules, and I just didn't follow them. Bondy, Bondy on safety, so, yeah. Shout out to the creator. Shout out to the person I got this video from. I'm gonna finish this video after I play the game. After I finish the game, because I, I'm pretty sure it does have some spoilers, which is why I finished in with like the first minute of the video. But I was like, that sounds really cool. And guys, if you do enjoy this video, I will be putting out. Actually, I don't really care if you enjoy this video. I will be putting out a second one. I have a bunch of content ready, uh, and well, not ready, but ready to be edited. Come on, six, six, seven. All right, good. Come on, just need to keep going with that. We're good, bro. Now we also have to worry about the camera. No, I'm not even like, I'm not even being like Markiplier. Like I, I love Markiplier's Five Nights at Freddy's videos, but he obviously does 
seem to like exaggerate a lot. You know, that's like YouTubers. Uh, like I, I do think he was like scared by it, but he was exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating right now. When I scream, bro. That was real. All right, all right, we can make it, dude. We can make it. Like, I know how to play this now. We can make it through 2 a.m. I really like how it's not just like nights, it's the hours. You can see the minutes, like that's such a cool spin. In my opinion. 219. Oh, shoot. Okay. Almost just died. Oh my God. What ha yeah, what happens if my fun gets too low? Well, well not fun, but like, if I'm holding my breath, right? <laughs> oh! There was nothing I could have done. the sheep there's one sheep shut the door at it yeah bro i would if i knew i'm gonna be playing this all weekend dude right i'm not even gonna be talking do this run and i'm not gonna do any okay i don't know what the chicken meant meant bro like when the chicken showed up on the screen what did that mean bro i don't know like is the chicken on my side because i played this with chicken and the little cutscene Someone was running on the right. Someone was running on the right. Gosh. Don't do this to me, man. Please. <laughs> no, don't laugh at me. No. Please. Hey, I'm, I'm smiling. Look at me. Look at me up there. That's not me. That's just a little smiley face. I hate that there's two animatronics we need to defend against, bro. It is actually very... Very similar to Five Nights at Fre Freddy's, uh, in the way that like there's animatronics and there's the, the doors that we need to like and we need to hide from them. Like I'm literally, I was literally dying. I almost got too far down. Just get to forty and then I can. I'm gonna check it. <sighs> yeah, this definitely attracts them. He's literally banging at the door, dude. Did he run away? Two twenty six. I hate how how little. I love the game. All right, this is actually really fun. But I hate how little you can do. Like, there's nothing I can do to save myself. Except from like locking the doors and like suffocating myself. I don't even know if he's gone yet, dude. Yeah. When I hear when I hear the running, I need to check the door immediately. No more dilly dallying like I've been doing recently. Come on, bro. These minutes are passing way too slowly. Still fast, you know, for an hour, but. Not nearly fast enough. Get to 90. Oh. oh god, oh god. I'm so glad like, it gives you that little few seconds to like check. Also, the animatronics won't come in here during that, right? Because then they'd also be zapped by the security guard. And they don't want to do that. They don't want to do that, I'm assuming. 
243, this is the farthest we've gotten, but I'm not trying to jinx it. <sighs> my heart, my, my heart. When the, when, when the guy's standing like... No joking around. I'm not trying to lose. 49. Let's go! 11 minutes. 10 minutes. There's no ch camera checking. We just, it's just the lights and the sound. You need to pay attention to the sound because if you miss something, that's why I'm not talking that much. Or maybe I am. But like if I miss something, I will die. I'm, li I, I'm, li God, five minutes, four minutes. Gosh. Please, 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 please. Pretty please, pretty please. Three minutes, dude. I'm gonna just lock both doors, dude. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh my god, yes. Bro, that, that little Hi duck there. is some things. Dude, yeah, this duck is literally me, bro. He's traumatized. Would you want to be my little shepherd for today? No, but... Can Could I leave? you count all of these sheep? Nope. Nope, I can't. What happens if I click the wrong answer? I'll do that my second one through. I just I'm That's trying to do everything right. right first. There's one sheep. Thank you so so much. Have a continued happy birthday. Thanks. Yeah, second play playthrough. I'll try I'll try to get everything wrong. Oh my god guys, 3 a.m. If I'm going to spin this into multiple videos, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. This was so fun. Bonnie's Barnyard. Barnyard safety violation. Yeah. Type 3. When the clock turns free, there might just be another friend whose goal is your end. A door won't put up a proper fight. To fend this guy off, you must use the light. Huh. Oh my wait, it's me it said meet and greet. So is this actually gonna be bon Bondi? No way, like the actual the Mr. Namesake. Anyway. No, nah, I'm not gonna split this into multiple videos. This is gonna be one video. But if but next time I die is when the video ends. So let's try not to die and beat night three. I mean hour three. The jingles are so catchy. I got one stuck in my head. I like, I like when you hold it down. Yo, my happiness just like jumped up. Bondi! <laughs> what? Bondi, I closed the door. Oh, I don't, I don't close the door on him. I don't close the door on him. I, I have to turn off the lights, dude. Some fear the sun when all they get is burned. Scare him off. The light. Screw you, Bondi. All right, three out of five a.m. That's where we're gonna leave it off for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. That was really fun and pretty scary. Um, when we beat the game, I will redo everything. Try to get the wrong answers to the little cutscene mini puzzles. The parts where he's like, I'm going to shoot on there. 1 or 21. That's when they'll probably get mad at me and be like, you're wrong. wrong. And then probably nothing will happen. Or the story will take a different turn in the end. I don't know. I don't know what the ending is going to even be. But I appreciate you guys for sticking around and watching. My name is Ashlock. I will see you guys in another in another in another hour of Bondi's Barnyard Safety Violation. Ashlock out. <laughs>